Welcome back, editors. Today, we're diving into manga smooth zoom plus CC transitions. The same techniques top editors use. Trust me, follow every step, and your edits will hit a whole new level. Stay till the end. Everything you need is in the description. Let's get started. Adjust your clips according to the beat. Add a keyframe here and one at the end. Slightly zoom in so that the text above is invisible and use the quad out graph. Start at a keyframe, and at the end, go to the scale option and increase it to 200. Use the graph, the custom graph, the way I'm showing. At the start, add a keyframe, and at the starting keyframe, scale it to 200. Use the custom graph the way I'm showing. At the start, add a keyframe, and at the end, go to the scale option and increase it to 247. Use the graph, custom graph, the way I'm showing. this setting to all the clips. Hey. Apply this setting to all the clips. Start, add a keyframe, and at the starting keyframe, scale it to 200. Use the quad out graph. Apply this setting to all the clips. At the start, add a keyframe, and at the starting keyframe, scale it to 200. Use the quad out graph. Apply this setting to all the clips.
go to the overlay option and add a white overlay. Adjust it the way I'm showing. Set the duration to 5 seconds, add a keyframe in the middle, and at the last keyframe set it to 10. Apply this to all the clips and set the duration to 2 seconds. Adjust the overlay the way I'm showing. Go to the splice option, select overlay, add a keyframe at the start, and at the end keyframe, set it to 10. transition option, then the blur section, and select square blur. Apply it to all clips. Go to the transition option, then the overlay section, and select mix. Go to the overlay section and select CC overlay. After that, go to the splice option and select overlay. Set its duration to 75 and apply it to all clips. After that, go to the effects section and apply the tremor strobe effect. Adjust its settings the way I'm showing. 